A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting them on her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord Holy Mary, pray for us. Today's liturgy honors Mary as Theotokos, mother, bearer of God, to emphasize that Jesus whom she bore in her womb and to whom she had given her very humanity is both Lord and God, equal to the Father and the Holy Spirit in power and glory. But Jesus has entrusted us to her on the cross where she became the mother of all believers. Our concerns become her concern too, as we read in John. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Today, the church asks for God's people the maternal protection of Mary, the mother of God. The first terms of endearment we experience in this world come from our mothers. On the spiritual level, this should also hold true. We need the loving gaze of Mary, first directed to Jesus, as we read in today's Gospel. St. John Paul II wrote that with the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus, no one lies outside the sphere of God's redemption, except those who, because of hardness of heart, choose not to be part of it. In like manner, we can say that no one is outside the sphere of Mary's loving protection. All are her children in Christ, even those who do not know it or recognize it. However, no one is forced to take refuge under the mantle of her protection if one chooses not to, like the father waiting for his lost sons to return to him in the parable of the prodigal son. Mary awaits Jesus' disciples to come to her. Devotion to her does not lessen or detract our devotion to Jesus, the Savior of the world, as some think or fear. If we only know that the church teaching on Mary, we will realize that Mary does not point to herself, but to her son, as she once did at the wedding at Cana, pointing Jesus to the servers. Do whatever he tells you. Holy Mary, pray for us and for all those who have recourse to you.